Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I go by the name of LB and welcome back to Rising Ballers. But today, we've got a special episode for you. In collaboration with Sports Direct, we put on the Trenches Showcase game. This is a game that showcased the best unsigned talent in the country, which we invited down, as well as inviting down other Premier League scouts and coaches in good positions to give the boys a great chance to showcase their talent and move themselves up on the football ladder. Whilst you're watching this game, do not forget to comment down below who's impressed you the most, who you think the man of the matches, and who you think RB should grab, sign on, and make a rising baller. Let's get into this. Now, my boys, boys, as we said, yeah, today is about taking the opportunity. Yeah. All of you are talented, that's why you're here. But now it's about making that next step. You've seen it. Abdul, where are you? He played in that game at Reading. What happened with Josh Green? Signed straight away, one game, took his opportunity. So, boys, this is an op opportunity for yourselves. Take the opportunity. You don't know who's watching today. So, every, every game you play, treat it like, like it's your last. Who wants to be a pro here? Put your hand up. Everyone wants to be a pro. Boys. A very good example is Chris. We spoke in the change rooms, right? Yeah, I guess, um, I'm Chris. Just here basically to like, tell you my story. Um, hopefully motivate you because I've been your age in, in your position. Um, where there's doubt, there's uncertainty. Um, and basically here to motivate, I guess, and tell my story. Um, it's not easy. And yeah, so I'm Chris, I play for Wickham. Uh, I played about 25 games in the league, um, and it looks it looks nice and, and sounds nice now. But yeah, I've been in the opposition. So I was at Brentford from 10 to 14. I uh, got released from there and I quit playing football for three years. Um, I quit because there was a lot of pressure from my dad. Uh, I felt like I was more doing it for him than myself, and I began to enjoy playing football. Next, like Sunday league, just for the man then basically, 14 to 17, and then. Signed at Colchester when I was um, 18 for a year. Took advantage of an opportunity that came to me by a bit of luck, to be fair. Um, and then that opportunity turned into me taking it for granted. Uh, I didn't try, kind of. I uh, don't want to say you know what it's like, but I signed and I basically got a bit comfy. I put my feet up and I was like, yeah, I've made it. That's the harsh reality of football. Um, there's, no, there's no letting off, there's no respite. So yeah, after Colchester, I went and worked at a gym, worked at Tesco's, uh, I played a bit of centre for football here and there. Then went to university for eight or nine months, and eight months ago I signed the Wickham. Uh, on a development contract at the time, and that was, that was like a good second opportunity. I took advantage again of a, an opportunity that was given to me while I was at uni. Um, and I didn't want to take this one for granted, but life don't go as planned. I was out for seven and a half months with a knee injury, basically a month after I signed. Yeah, exactly. So kind of got there, got the opportunity, and then it all came crashing down quite quickly. So it's never easy. I had to, I had to bounce back from that. And since then, signed the deal, made my debut, managed to spend myself as a regular rich starter in the team. When I signed my first pro, I was 20. Um, yeah, it was a week before my 21st birthday, so yeah, I was basically 21. Um, obviously, Paul Merson the other day said if you're not an academy at the age of 12, um, the likelihood is you're not going to make it. Uh, I said in there, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, but I'm going to say it again. It's um, because I'm sure a lot of you guys haven't been in academies and there might be a pro or two in here. That's just the way it is. It's not one size fits all. So, Paul Merson saying that, it's nonsense. Maybe back in his day, but you see it all the time now. People coming from semi pro making the jump to League Two, League One, even the Championship sometimes. There's no different with me. I was playing Step Five of non league. I've gone from Step Five to at a time, a Championship team. So you see, you see it more and more often. Semi pro is becoming a thing, and the route isn't always straight and direct. You just never know when, when something's around the corner. When you do get an opportunity, you need to take it both hands because Chris could have had two stories. He could have made it how he did. Or could have stayed at uni, ended up getting a nine to five job, which has nothing wrong with. But being a footballer is the best job in the world, and I'm sure the older you'll get, the more you'll know that. So, yeah. thank you for coming, Chris. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. And squad number one, we got the black team. Between the sticks, we got Marwan. Left back, we got Bobby. Two and a half, Romeo and Stefan. And right back, we got Joseph. Protecting them, we've got another Joseph, we've got Frankie, Ara Lowen, and we've got a front three of Emmanuel, Sydney, and Julinho. 
On the bench, we've got Angie, Francisco, Suleiman, Sufian, and Franklin from GTA. Let's see if we've got the chops out today. Put the ball in the back of the net. And let's get into the white team's lineup. And on the white team, between the sticks, my young boy. If you didn't know, get to know Nathan. Aye, right, shout out Nathan, man. If you know, Nathan came a long way. He's been my team Saturday Raising Star. Shout out to Mandem. At left back, we've got Calvin. Twos and halves, we've got Nelson and Harrison. Right back, we've got Lissandro. The two protecting them, we've got Ryan and Mackay. In the 10 row today, we've got Kieran. On the left, we've got Emmanuel. Up top, we've got Niak. And on the right, we've got Kyrie, my boy Kyrie. If you don't know Kyrie, old school Melwood. He's playing the year up with a man, them. Young baller from Danny, still a young baller now. On the bench, we've got Abdul, Shiloh, Kalen, and Sam. Let's get into this game. You've got to f***ing work hard for each other. You've got to communicate. You've got to understand your role. When you're doing a role, understand what you're doing it for. Understand that supporting players around me, for example, from the left back, and I make a mistake. It's not a mistake if my left centre back's doing the right thing. Stuff like that has to be a non-negotiable. Keep it simple. We all know what everyone wants to do at showcase games. It's just go and get on the ball and beat a thousand guys. Yeah. Don't be that. Be the guy that plays the right ball at the right time. Be the guy that dribbles on it at the right time. Be the guy that wins his 1v1s when he has to. Yeah? Make sense? Yeah. Just go and do that for me. I'm going to be on you for little things. But go and enjoy yourself, first and foremost. That's what it's about. Everyone good? Yeah. Good. Come on. Let's go, go. As you can see, we're down in Rainers Lane deep in Northwest for the Trenches Showcase game. As you can see, black team are kicking off to get the ball to white team already on the board right now. You know, it's nubbling and bubbling. You know, the boys are a bit nervous. We've got white team number six on the board. That's Nelson. Confident as ever trying to play a forward pass, but he is dispossessed by Bobby. Bobby set the ball backwards. Now we've got the ball on a black team. He seems like a very cool, composed midfield. I hope to see him on the ball a couple more times. We've got Joseph on the ball. Right back. Is he going to play forward? He can get a good passing forward. He slipped in the number seven, who is Sydney. Can he make something happen? He plays out to the left. That's a 1v1. It's a 1v1. Can number two stand his ground? Can he? He gets beaten for pace. Can he get the cross off? He does get a cross off. Oh, and just like that. That is great play from the black team. Under three minutes, they've got themselves a goal. You know, this is sponsored by Sports Direct and Emmanuel is very directed to beat his fullback. No Lele gets the ball across the box and Jelino cool as a cucumber. I don't know where that phrase even came from. Cucumbers are never really even that cool. Not that I would know. But they do take the lead very early on in this trenches showcase game. And it seems like it's going to be an interesting one. White team are just fired away. We cut to another clip. White team's on the ball once again. Number four driving forward. Ryan, confident as ever. Draws the ball across the box. Can we get something to happen? Number 10 on the ball. Pulls the trigger. Maybe doesn't get the shot off in time. And the guy's got to do a better job there putting the trigger. Because he could have equalised this game. Nevertheless, you've got Signal on a half turn. Just slotted in Jolino on a 1v1. Ooh, there's an opposite cut back. Has the defender done enough? I think he has done enough. That's number three. That's Calvin on the ball. He has done enough to slow down Jolino. But it sets in uh, Sydney. He's driving towards the middle of the goal. Unfortunately, he couldn't make anything happen. And the ball goes off. Middle part once again. Kyrie trying to make something happen. No, gets to possess Sydney with a great base goal to Jolino. Jolino gives it back to Sydney. What can he do? Can he get a cross off? Maybe this could be another tap in. Does flush the box and no one can get their foot on it. This game remains 1 0. Sydney once again. Flary. I like players like that. Just add a little bit extra. Could have done it simple, but why do it simple? You can do it flary. It's a showcase game. You don't want to be that boring guy. As you can see, the ball's played to the left-hand side. That was number four who gave him the ball. That was Joseph playing the ball to Araloy and he beats two men. Can he get a cross-off? He does manage to get a cross-off, but it's blocked in the end. Good bit of blistering pace from him there. We've got a corner off the right-hand side. The ball comes in. Nathan goes up to clear it. Does get a punch in it, but not a hard enough one. But in the end, does reclaim the ball. Game remains 1-0. Number three on the left-hand side. We've got Calvin driving forward, trying to get his team to equalise and go. Slips in his teammate there, number 18. That is Sam on the ball, who gets a crossing. But that is great defending from the black team, and the game remains 1-0. Is that Sam on the ball once again? It is Sam on the ball once again. Pulls the trigger across the box. Just gone wide. Sam, three times in a row. Sam's obviously switching gears. He wants to be seen. He wants to be known. In the showcase game, we don't want to be boring. Number nine was on the ball just then. That was Michael trying to move it. We've got a shot flashing across the goal. Unfortunately, he didn't go in there. It's hectic right now. Number nine on the ball once again. And oh, that's a great save. Marwan, that's an amazing save there to keep this game 1-0. And the black team with an answer right now. Arlen on the ball on the left side. No, in fact, it wasn't Arlen. It's actually Emmanuel who gets the ball. Cuts in there, but the shot is just not good enough. And it doesn't end up in the back of the net. 
We've got a ball flashing across the box again. This is the intensity just risen up in the last 10 minutes. Oh, nice little fake shot that sets the ball across the box and pulling the trigger number eight. And it is blocked there by one of the black team defenders and that was not end up a goal. Long ball soccer. He's taking the deflection there. Sam is one on one against Manwa. Manwa and he gets the ball past him and that is the equalizing goal. Sam Inch, more like Sam Inch. That's all he needed to put the ball back in the net. Pause. Pause. That's a great finish nevertheless. Very unconventional. Not a typical number nine finish, but he's not a number nine. He's a winger. Just coming on his, I think it was his right foot, but he couldn't take a right foot. His shot there. Back to his left foot and got the equalising goal. This side's not to be a great game. Sam welcoming the opposition team to the game. He's, he's busy calling for a foul in the showcase game. Mate, switch on. Sam on the ball one second. Can he get a left foot delivery? A great delivery into the box! And Kari has not put down the back of the net. Kari, I'll see you tomorrow. South Lord clock tower for some shooting practice. I'm not going to lie to you, Calvin is a great player, very confident ball, driven all the way from left back there, carried the ball forward and one of his team a corner. And just like that, it is half time. White teams one, black team one, let me know down in the comments below who's impressed you the most so far. There is a couple stand-up players, but you know, it's not about me, it's about what you guys think. And meanwhile, while you're at it, do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. We're bringing you the best unsigned talent for free. That's the least you could do. With the white team kicking off, that is the beginning of the second half. Can the white team go on with this momentum that they got and win the game? Will the black team rejuvenate, reconnect, and re-establish dominance in this game? Who knows? Got Sam putting a bit of pressure, but he says no worries. And who is that fella? I'm sure that is the right back for the team. That is young Joseph showing Sam that it's not going to be an easy day for you. We've got Kyrie on the ball, just twisting and turning. That's that meld in him. Yeah? Yeah? Hey, right, Kyrie showing him. Hey, ref! See what's he on? And he's given a penalty there. Aye, right, Kyrie, you've done amazingly there. Number seven, Shiloh, well done for starting the penalty there. But Kyrie, that's the Melwood in you, brother. Well done. Couldn't be more proud, man. And that feeling when you see the young G's prospering makes you happy, man. Shout out, Kyrie, for that build up play. Number Shiloh, Shiloh for putting the penalty in the back of the net. Got a black team on the ball. Number four on the edge of the box. Pull it. He does back himself. And he's just pulled it wide there. You know, I love a bit of confidence from players. Sam has tried to pull off the mad thing against Joseph. Unfortunately, he couldn't beat Joseph. Joseph, I'm not going to lie, he did very well, but then lost the ball in the very end. Bit of a silly decision there from him. Probably should have just cleared it, but nevertheless, they do remain with the lead. White team do keep the lead up. The ball's gone out to the right hand side. Kyrie's on the ball. My young shooter, Kyrie. Yeah! Kyrie! Kyrie! So like! Oh! That's the Melwood! I'm trying to show you the kid is special. I taught him how to shoot like that. Do not let Kyrie lie to you. Kyrie, do not tell your friends anything but the truth. I taught you how to shoot. Oh. It's got a hint of Robin. It's got a hint of Mares. I'm not going to lie to fullback, brother. You got to work on your jockeying. Murder is what he just did to him there, Kyrie, man. Oh, man. Shout out, Kyrie, man. See, I'm telling you, so I've got the best ballers. When I say it, guys think I'm lying. They're not lying. That is an amazing challenge from number 14 there. Who is number 14? No, that was Kalen. That was number 15. Oh, well done, Kalen. That is very well done, Kyrie. They're trying to switch gears, trying to keep the momentum going, but he is dispossessed by none other than Sofian from the black team there. The score on this 3-1 to the white team. I think the white team, that early goal was a bit of a blip there. But they seem to be reacting well. Very aggressive on the ball and very aggressive off the ball. Look at that amazing press there. They have won a foul, but nevertheless, they did well to hound out the black team's players. Ball over the top. One-on-one. -on -one. Can you put the ball in the back end net? Number 11 for the black team. That is an amazing challenge. But it's been given as a foul. So it was a foul. Jelena's put down the back end net and he rushes towards the ball. He wants to kick this game off once again. The black team are trailing by three goals to two. The white team, will they crumble under the pressure or can they keep the pressure on for 20 minutes? Can they keep the scoreline 3-2? And maybe they can go a bit further. Extend their lead. Nevertheless, number 10 for the white team on the half time. That's Michael. Turn the big ball to round time to Kyrie. Will Kyrie get there? Kyrie will not get there. Sends it back to Marwan. He's missed the ball and just like that, Kyrie go put that in the back of the net. <laughs> Kyrie's got another goal. That's, I call that the Sadia Mane. Pressing from Kyrie is not a joke there. You know, a lot of players, a lot of wingers nowadays, they seem a bit lazy. I'm noticing that the wingers, they don't really, if, once they're not on the board, they don't have that hard to go work hard for the goals. Kyrie, they're showing that they've got a couple more of them in the bank. Oh, man, I'm so proud of Kyrie, man. Come along and Kyrie, man, you're hearing this, man. Proud of you, man. Come a long way. Sam on the volley. Dragged it across the box, and I'm liking it so far. The white team, I'm happy still. And who is that on the drive? This is looking like a bit of a, a bit of a Rudiger drive right now. Asking for the ball back. Number 15. That's Kaelin who wants the ball back. Can he set it back? 
Right for a touch, maybe a bit of awkward angle. Sets it to Kyrie. Oh, a bit of a naughty touch there. He's been dispossessed. Oh, but he's ended up with the, a white team again. Kyrie thought he lost the ball there. He did lose the ball, but a bit of miscommunication for the black team. A bit of misspeaking for me there. And Nia can score the goal. That is five goals to two. The white team are running riot in this showcase game. Shout out number 15. That was a young man called Kalen Harris. Did very well carrying that ball forward. But you know what, Yari Tori used to drive. Man, he used to be scared to tackle him. It's looking like the white team will probably win this game. Very well done to them. Nevertheless, very well done to both teams for keeping it even for so long. With the last 10 minutes of this game, a black team trying to make something happen. Who is that on the ball? A young man wearing number 15. We've got young Suleiman on the ball. Trying to make something happen. Well, his teammates offer him. He doesn't need his teammates. He pulls the trick while he forgets. We've got Nathan between the sticks. And then none other than black teams. Joseph on the ball, carrying the ball forward. Maybe going to pick out his right winger. Can his right winger cut it back to him? He's asking for it. Will he be able to make the right decision? He does make the attempt to. He's come off a hand there. The referee's given it as a penalty. Bit harsh there from the ref, but nevertheless, that's Suleiman against Nathan. Suleiman to take it. Nathan, the keeper. Nathan, my keeper. Will he keep it out? And he doesn't need to as he's come off the post there. Suleiman, unfortunately, couldn't put that ball in the back of the net. Unfortunately, for my young boy, Nathan, the ball didn't happen in the back of the net. And just like that, that is the end of the showcase game. The Trenches Showcase game, sponsored by Sports Direct, brought to you by Rising Ballers. 5 2, the final score, the white team winning. Shout out to the black team. Shout out to Jelino, the only goal scorer on that team, scoring two goals. And once again, shout out to the white team. We've got Kyrie scoring absolute worldy, just doing Kyrie stuff. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and comment down below who impressed you the most, who you think the man of the match was, and who you'd like to see for the Rising Ballers playing in our RB shirt in the coming future. I've been LB, this is Rising Ballers. Like, comment, share, subscribe once again. We are over and out. My name is Kyrie Harris, and I'm 17. Where are you from? South London. Oh, is that a terminal? Seven, eight. I got a bit lazy, but two, one good goal and a, another goal. Thoughts uh, on the celebration? <laughs> I told someone before the game what I was gonna do, and I did it. Uh, I'm just at Connect, and I play for Craven FC only. Have you been finding that? Uh, yeah, good, good challenge. Men's football. I'm obviously Connect. I enjoy it. Do you think you've done enough to get scouted today? Hopefully, hopefully the start saw the goal. Um, yeah. Do you think you're ready for the next step? Yeah, of course. Human age. Uh, my name is Bobby and I'm 19 years old. How did you find um, the game? It was enjoyable. It is obviously, we lost. It's more enjoyable when you win, but um, it's good. It's playing football, you know, so I love doing it and it's fun. Uh, I had moments where I done, I could have done better, but I had moments where I done well as well. I felt I'm um, playing left back, not a position I usually play, but I thought I done well in it at the start of the game today. Tell us about your football career. Who have you played for in the past? Um, I signed for Southend United when I was 10. And I was there my whole life, done my scholarship there, all the way up to a third year scholar. Didn't get offered a pro, and then I'm um, on the lookout for a club. Uh, it was devastating, really. I thought um, I had a lot of good friends there. I had a long time at the club, but it's part and parcel of the game, you know what I mean? Um, but I just keep pushing forward. I know I can, I know I can do, go on and do well in my career. It is difficult. I, I can. Uh, I know. It's, I've, I've been through it. It's hard. Um, but uh, I think there could be a little bit more help, maybe, with players. Because sometimes you feel like you're, they've let you go and you're stranded. You don't really know what to do. But um, it's mental. If, you, if, you, if you're mentally tough, you can get through it. And you know what I mean, you can get, you can get going again. My name is Manny, and I'm 18. What position did you get? Um, my winger, preferably left. Uh, no, it was good. I think it was. Um, it's been organised well, and. Um, I enjoyed the game as well. I think I played well. I think I done all right. Um, my team done well in the first half, but we struggled in the in the second half when the game opened up a bit. So that's why there was a lot of goals for the other team. What's your football journey been so far? Um, I used to play in Ireland when I was smaller. Came over to England. Uh, signed at West Ham under 11s. I was there till under 16s. Didn't get a scholar there. Um, then I went to, I did my first year scholar at Kinetic Foundation, which is good, like it's a good program. Um, played Peterborough in pre-season, signed there, spent last season there. Um, unfortunately didn't get my pro extended back here, back to the start. What's your plan for the next season? Um, hopefully getting a club. Um, if not, probably just gonna go to uni and, and study, but keep playing as well so I can get an education. I think his story is, is, is inspirational and 
that a lot of us can relate to his story. I think a lot of us feel that like when we get to like 17, 18, 19, it's done. Like if you're not signed, it's done. But um, his story is just one of many that like if you if you keep keep grafting and keep going, even when he was 20, he got signed. So it's it's, it's, it's always possible. How do you deal with rejection from clubs? Um, I think it's hard the first time. I remember when I got. When I, when Fulham told me no, I, I remember crying because I felt like that that was it. Like at that point, I think I was just just out, just um, first year scholar. So like, I just thought like, if I don't get a scholar now, like it's done. And that was when I was like 16. So I think maybe like some for some people's first time, it's hard when they get when they like get rejected. But um, I just think it, it can either make you or break you. Like some people get rejected and they think, no, that's it. Or some people just use that as motivation to to keep going and get into another club. Yes, guys, and that's a wrap. RB Sports Direct, Trenches Showcase. See you next year.